Right, good day, welcome to my channel. Quick, quick Blender tutorial with Epic Bimpeg um, today and I'll jump into Blender and show you show you what, what to do. Right, oh, we're in Blender now and um, I'm actually gonna hide my cam here. So basically you wanna look down here on your output. So you go onto the, the render tab or output properties tab here and yeah, the forward slash saves it where your blend file is and then it creates folders, you know, as you as you go. Now you want to label that last bit as read dot read dot and then it will automatically index it for you so it'll it'll give you an index and um, I have a basic scene set up here very basic scene got some cameras set up so you can see the animation here uh, let's swap to camera view then you can see the the basic animation here now with blender they have said well, I've seen online on some forums and stuff, it's better to export the files as PNGs and then stitch them together in a video as opposed to coming down here and changing it to a video, okay? Now, we're not going to worry about alpha channels today too much, but um, yeah, so basically, if you're wondering how to do that, because it's going to spit out, each frame is going to spit out a separate PNG file. So if you were wondering how to do that, this is how you do it. So after you've done your render, you can actually go up here and say view animation and Blender sort of plays each thing, it sort of runs through it, it caches it and then afterwards it plays it nice and smoothly but I'm gonna just let that run, it actually doesn't allow me to close it so I'm just gonna let that run so anyways, while that's rendering or caching, Blender is basically doing it, you know, stitching it together in a cache um, then afterwards it sort of plays it but it's not smooth let me show you what I mean here it's finished doing it it's, it's playing the animation but it's not great so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna jump into we're gonna jump into a terminal now this should work on Windows just as well I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better um, if you're on Linux you just go to your folder where all these PNGs are you right click and you say open terminal and it should open it but here we see it I'm in my PNG folder here and now you run a simple ffmpeg command now keep in mind you do need ffmpeg installed and the command should be the same for Linux or Windows I am on Linux but the command should still be the same so ffmpeg just start the ffmpeg program here you specify the frame rate you can actually play with this but you'd want this to match whatever frame rate you had set in Blender and then Let's see, then what, what you can do is, I is basically input, so you're telling it to input, so we have these single quotes here, read was my file name, okay, so all my, all my PNGs are basically labeled read dot, and then there'll be a number or index, this tells you what the index is, so percentage 04, this tells you how many numbers are in the index, if I drag over my file explorer here you'll see there are four numbers in my index so just check for you how many you've got and then set that accordingly but uh, we've got four here so I want that four D I'm not sure what the D is for but it does something <laughs> okay maybe it, it tells it that it's it's finished or something I don't know and then dot PNG is the file type um, so you close that quote and then you type in whatever you want really here. You can probably add some extra parameters um, for certain encoding and stuff like that, but we're not going to do that today. We're simply just going to tell it we want to MP4 and I want the file name to be output. But you can, you know, change that to whatever you want. Now I've already got an output, so I'm going to change it to, say, reading corner and you press enter if there's no errors you should just see it starts doing its thing um, it is very good at explaining errors to you so if you type something wrong or if your index was incorrect you'll probably find that it will tell you and then you can go and adapt it this takes some time it uses quite a bit of cpu depending on how many frames you got the quality etc i also have alpha channels on here which is making it way more complex but there we go boom so now if we go back into our file explorer we can see that it has now created this reading corner.mp4 double click it 
and you can see the video plays <laughs> okay so where's the controls yet vlc come on um yeah and that's it guys thank you so much for watching if this was helpful please do leave a like comment and subscribe if you feel like donating so that i can get a better gpu so that i can render stuff faster um please do see the link in the description or there is a a paypal donation link on my channel homepage as well um but that's it for me see you in the next one cheers bye